Hey everybody, welcome. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing so as not to miss out on any future videos. Um, in this video, what I'm gonna show you is how to add movement to still images using Adobe's Premiere Pro. So here we have a still image of some lava. Now, what we wanna try and do He's had a bit of movement to that photograph. So the best way to do it, first of all, I'm just going to reduce the size of this photograph. So if we go down to the fit, I want to go down to 25%. Now, all will become clear as to why I'm going to do that. If we go down into the, the frame section here, now this frame is, is highlighted. This is the frame that we're going to be working on. This is also that same frame up here in the top left hand corner. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to that, but to start with, I'm going to just make, so click motion, brings up this nice blue box. I'm just going to make that photograph larger than the frame itself. So about there. Now, all will become clear. So what we're going to do, if I leave this needle at the far left hand corner, that is where the movement is going to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that just in slightly because I don't want it to move, the movement to start straight away. So if I start it there, hit position, and it brings up this little pin. That is where the movement is going to start, okay? Now take hold of the needle and move it to where you want the movement to finish. In this case, I'm gonna leave it there. Hit the motion button again, brings the, box, the blue box back up. Now, the reason why I've made the photo larger than the frame is because if the frame and the photo are the same size, when you move it, what you're gonna get is you're going to get a, a black um, space or void um, to whichever side, you, if you wanna move it up or down, left or right, you can do any of the four, but you'll get a void. So by making the photo larger than the frame, it gives you a little bit of space to play with, which will eliminate that void. Now the key, when adding movement to videos from still images is subtlety. What you don't want to do is go too, too far. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna drag this up because I want the movement to go forward. All right, so try and keep that line as straight as possible. Oh, there. Okay, now if I hit return, which I should play that, do you see the lava? The lava moves up, up into the into the frame, gives it that little bit of movement. So when it's running through a video, um, it's not just a it's a still shot of of lava. It actually it adds a little bit of impact to to the video. Okay, and it's as simple as that, guys. That is how you add movement to a still image. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this very quick video. All right, guys. I'll catch you next time.